What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. As you see, we have the bow, and then out there, we have the bow target. Now, as you may or may not know, in the state of Kentucky, at the time of you're watching this video, deer season is already in for my bow. So, technically, today, if I wanted to, I could just go out there and go deer hunt. But, I've not shot my bow literally since last season, and if you know what I mean, we kind of need to do that before I go out hunting. Because that's exactly what happened to Bucky the first time. He's still out there somewhere, unless he got hit by a truck or something, which is a good possibility. Now, if you've never heard of these before, they actually are kind of an exploding broadhead. Except it's basically an arrow tip, and what you do is, uh, well, first you gotta open it up. But it's like these little plastic screw-on tips. They're plastic for a reason, and the reason is because it blows up. And what you do with the arrow is you screw this little piece on. It's actually got a firing pin. With this piece being like the casing, you take either a 38 Special casing, or I think a 30. 357 magnum you just simply put it in there then you screw this on to where the tip the firing pin on the arrow is actually touching the the primer on the shell and right now nothing's happening like it rattles a little bit but overall it's pretty safe but the concept of what's going to happen is whenever you shoot this it's going to go flying once it hits the target this red piece is just going to collapse push the bullet back into the primer it's going to pop it's going to explode and the concept is that well it's an exploding arrow and yes we are going to shoot a few of those today but first like i said i've not shot this bow yet this year so i need to shoot it a few times just to make sure we're still sighted in and even going to hit the target and i mean i'll bring y'all in closer just in case you want to know what kind of bow i actually have now my bow here this is a hoyt pro defiant here i bought it last year and i have never killed anything with it to my knowledge it shoots really good compared to my last bow my last bow it was a cheaper bow this one's a pretty high-end bow or at least for me it is but right now i'm gonna get my bow move back here to 20 yards start shooting it and we're just gonna see where i end up on that target okay so from right here i'm at 20 yards they're the target we're shooting at the yellow one the yellow jacket i'm only gonna shoot two arrows just because that's only two i have right now but here we go i'm not sure what pin to use so i'm just going to use my top pin and aim at the top one and if we're going to be completely honest here guys i really don't know if i can still pull this back i know that it's set on like 65 and 65 is kind of a lot Oh boys, that's a piece of cake. We may be able to pull it up a little bit, but first, let's just sling one arrow down. Okay, seemed pretty good. Sling this other arrow right in the same spot. Alright, let's go see how we done. I'm gonna guess we done decent, because I feel like those are pretty good shots. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's decent from 20 yards away. I was aiming right there, but honestly, I think that my first pin's actually good from 15 to 20 to 10, something like that. But uh, yeah, 20 yards, I was aiming right there. That's not bad. I mean, I'll shoot a few more times and see what I can do, but overall, that's not bad. What I've decided to do is, since I've literally not killed a deer in four years, guys, not even a doe, I'm gonna go out, and the first decent-sized doe I see that's, like, not a baby, I'm gonna go ahead and take the doe. That way, I'll have some meat to eat because I'm hungry and I want some deer meat. And if you're wondering, yes, killing does with my bow is perfectly legal and they kind of want us to do it. But I'm gonna go ahead and shoot these shots and then whenever I walk back again, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do about my buck. Cause I am still gonna try to kill a buck this year. Do not worry about that. This time I'm gonna go really hardcore and just try my best to make a good shot. Like I'm gonna hold it as still as possible. Okay, that one felt really good. That one may not have been as good, but I do think that grouping is better than the first. And just real quick, as we're walking to the target this time, do you like bow shooting videos? Because I'm about positive y'all are going to like bow hunting videos, but do you like me just out here shooting, trying to, you know, do different stuff? Maybe we'll do a bow penetration challenge, you know, maybe see what bows can go through my arrows. But here we go. The grouping, not so bad. That's still going to kill a deer. I think I just need to, you know, focus a little bit more because... I'm missing elevation wise. I think I want to move back to like 30 yards and see what I can do from there. Here we are 30-ish yards. The target this time, still same spot, but we just moved back about 10 extra yards. I'm just going to send it, bro. Oh. I hit the gravels. I may have just lost my arrow. I hate it when that happens. Like, those, these arrows are $10 a piece, too, and they are expensive. And I just shot mine into a pile of rocks. Okay, seems like it's decent. Okay, the arrow's fine. Let's try it again. Let's just aim a little bit lower this time. That was a good shot. Took it a second to get to the target, but that was a pretty good shot. Let's go ahead and repeat it. If I can do decently good this shot, we'll go ahead and uh, load up the firecrackers. Because I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to see what they'll do. That one didn't even stick in the target. It just bounced off. Like, I mean, right here with the first arrow, a near perfect shot. And then this one here, the second one, decently, you know, pretty good close. But the penetration is that much. The first arrow, 
that much. I hate to debunk this for you, but I'm just gonna tell you, this is not gonna work the way you may think it will. If you're over here thinking that what's gonna happen is whenever it hits, the bullet is actually gonna come out this way and shoot off like it, like it would out the end of the gun, that's actually not gonna happen. And here's why. In a normal gun, what actually happens is this explodes, and the only open area that the energy can be released is through this bullet pushing it out the barrel. However, with this thing, it's gonna be a different story, because all this is plastic, and it's not metal. So what's gonna happen is whenever this bullet explodes, yeah, the lead is gonna come out this way, but it's not gonna go anywhere as fast as it would normally. What's actually gonna happen is this entire thing, including this brass right here, it's actually gonna explode too, and so it's basically just gonna be like a bomb that explodes in every direction, because it can't. The only reason it can't in a normal gun is because it's in the chamber, and the chamber's made out of heavy metal, which can't really expand anymore. And so if you understood that, good for you. If you didn't, that's okay, because you really don't need to know it. The Aero I'm gonna be shooting it out of, like I said, these are $10, so I'm actually using one that is broke right now. It has one fin on it, mainly because last year I shot it at 100 yards. I hit the target though, so it's okay. Because let's say it does explode right here, on the tip, bust the arrow. I don't care if I lose this arrow. If I lose one of those, I'm probably gonna go cry for a minute. But final loads up. Here we go. 38 special bullet in there. And then we're just gonna wind this on there, lock it in. And now we just gotta load this into our bow and shoot it. We are locked and loaded. I'm about to sling this thing over there and hit a water bottle. Now the water bottle, you can't see it right now, but it's actually in front of the target and I'm just gonna try to hit the water bottle first. What are my predictions? Well, I don't know if it's gonna hit on impact or if maybe it's gonna take more force to actually set it off than the water bottle. So what it may actually do is just go through it and maybe not even set off, but I'm not sure. It may actually do what it's supposed to. I'm actually gonna zoom y'all into the target though because it seems a whole lot more cooler because well, it's an exploding tipped arrow. Don't really see those every day. But anyways, guys, here we go. Oh, explosive tipped arrow on three, two, one. Oh, what was that, boys? Oh, dang it. I really screwed up my target this time. Oh, dang it, bro. Oh, come on. I don't know if the bullet is in there or if it just straight up exploded like I thought it would. It's smoking in there. This thing may set my target on fire. And just like I expected, it shredded the tip of my arrow. Now this arrow here, it is useless, but if you know what I mean, I'm thinking I'm gonna unscrew this, actually just leave it on there and put on another bullet. Here is the casing, here's the actual bullet. It goes in, screw this on right behind it, and it is ready to go. Now one thing that I actually forgot to show you guys on that target was that there was not an exit hole, meaning that the actual lead part didn't come out like an actual bullet. And another thing that we can look at there is how big the entry hole is. That's because as soon as it hit, it exploded in every direction and really opened up that entry hole. But here we go, round two. We're gonna try to hit the water bottle. It's actually right there this time. Here we go though. This didn't go off. I hit it though. I definitely hit it. So now on to the back of this bow target. It ain't gonna blow, guys. I, I've hit it three solid times. That one ain't gonna blow. That was really close and everything, and it still didn't do anything. And just real quick, I may have forgot to say this, but actually, one of you guys in fan mail sent me that. And you actually sent it to me last year, and I'm sorry that I'm just now getting around to make a video for it. But I do want to say thank you, bro, because these are pretty awesome. Desperate times cost for desperate measures. That is not gonna go off, people. Well, how did I get a dud? Okay, so after further inspection, that's exactly what this is. I got a dud on my second one. Look at that, okay? Yep, obviously it's a dud. It pierced and everything. Look at this. Where's the bullet? It's inside. Like, how did that How did that even happen? But we do have one more 38 special round, so I'm just gonna go ahead, load it up again, shoot it at that barrel, because honestly, guys, I don't want that arrow anymore. Some would say it's too far gone, and I would have to agree with that. It ain't recovering from this, so we might as well just go ahead and run it some more. Loading up the time capsule. Priming the time capsule. Probably gonna be loud, too, because, you know, it's actually hopefully gonna shoot this time. Here we go. That is ridiculous, guys. There's something wrong with that. My arrow just snapped and the firearm, the bullet did not go off. I just want to end it right there, guys, because there's nothing else I can really do today. Overall, the ballistic tipped arrows, did they work? I definitely would not use it as a weapon because one, if it was a deer, he's just going to look at you and be mad. And if it's a person, he's going to do the exact same thing, except he may retaliate with a weapon that could hurt you. So if you're asking me, do I recommend those? 
Yeah, they're kind of cool. But I wouldn't put my life on them like, you know, you do in Black Ops. But we're not, this isn't Black Ops. So I guess we're doing pretty good. Thank you for watching another Kennel Gaze production. If you haven't saw this video, click right here. If you haven't saw the other one, click right here. Hashtag Gray Gang, hashtag Jesus. If you want to get a piece of his merch, go to kennelgray1.com slash shop.